Hey guys, it's me. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a taste test on this really interesting drink that I came across recently. It's called Mama Chia, and basically it's just a juice with a bunch of chia seeds in it. Like literally, I saw this and I've never seen any beverage before with this much seedage in it. So I kind of thought that I had to give it a try because I was just so intrigued by it. Apparently, chia seeds are super, super good for you, and I did not know that. So I'm going to give this a try, and we're going to see how it is, and I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start off by telling you a little bit about this drink and the company that makes it. So I found these at Target, and I've only ever seen them at Target. I'm pretty sure they sell them at other places, but I've never actually seen them anywhere else besides Target. And each one of these bottles was $2.79, which isn't too bad because it's in like a really nice glass bottle. And I think the label and everything is really cute on them. So a little bit about this company, Mama Chia. Um... These drinks are all organic and they're filled with like omega-3s and fiber and they're gluten-free and vegan. And I'm just going to read you what it says on the back label here because I think that it's interesting if you wanted to know a little bit about this company. So our organic chia seeds deliver essential omega-3s, complete protein, fiber, and more. Mama Chia is a delicious way to enjoy a powerful synergy of nutrients that naturally provides vitality for active souls of all ages. And then it says at the bottom, and I think this is really cool, that Mama Chia donates 1% of sales to support healthy local food systems because we love Mama Earth and her people. So they're kind of a company that gives back. They are all about the environment and food sources, and I think that that's pretty sweet. So I picked up two different flavors of these. One is blackberry hibiscus, and then this pink one that I was showing is called guava mama. But they also had a few other ones. They had cherry lime and coconut mango. I'm not really a coconut person and I'm not really a cherry person or a lime person so I decided to go with these ones because I thought they would be the ones that I liked the most but if you're not a blackberry person and you're not a guava person then they do have other flavors that you can choose from and I think it's cute because the labels all match the flavors of them so like the coconut mango one was orange and then the cherry lime one was green. So I think the one that I'm going to start off with first is the blackberry one because I'm a little bit more excited about trying the pink one, which was the guava. So I'm going to be honest, I'm really nervous because I feel like I'm going to have to chew these seeds and when you're drinking something and you also have to chew it, like chewing a drink, I feel like that's a weird sensation. It's going to be weird. So I'm a little bit nervous that I'm not going to like it. but. We're just going to have to see. I don't know how this is going to go, but we're going to see. So I'm just going to open this. And the lid popped. And I'm going to smell it. Honestly, first impression, it smells like prune juice, which, you know, I don't really enjoy. I'm a little bit scared now, but we're just going to give this a try and see how it is. I'm going to get a mouthful of seeds. So first impression of this going into my mouth is that the flavor definitely isn't as strong or flavorful as I thought it was going to be. It's like a little bit weak um, and the texture is just weird. If you've ever had tapioca pudding, how the, the stuff in there is like kind of bubbly, it's the same texture as tapioca pudding. It's weird. Like it's not even bad. It's just so different that I can't even comprehend. I don't think I would ever be able to get used to drinking something that has like a lot of texture to it and like a lot of chunkiness. I just, I don't really enjoy that. So now I'm going to move on to the pink guava one, and maybe I'll like the taste of this one a little bit better. Not that I minded the taste of the last one, but I'm excited about this one. I feel like this could be good. 
It smells like real fruity, like kind of grapefruity, which I enjoy. So maybe this one will be good. I don't know. I definitely like the taste of this one better. I didn't get as many seeds in my mouth on this one. Yeah, I don't know. This one isn't as seedy for some reason. Maybe the seeds have like sunk to the bottom. I'm not sure. But taste-wise, I definitely like this one better. Still, like I was saying, it's a little bit weak. Like I would kind of prefer it to be a little bit stronger. But, you know, that's not really the point. The point is the seeds in here. <laughs> they're weird. Like, I just like drinking knowing that I can just you know, throw it back down the pipe, but you kind of have to do a little bit of chewing, just a little bit, and just something that has so much, like, substance going into your mouth when, like, in your mind you're drinking something, it really, like, throws you off. So, final impressions on these Mama Chia drinks is that I think they're really fun. I don't necessarily think that they're great. I probably won't be drinking them all the time, but when you see something different like that, you just kind of are intrigued by it and you want to see how it is for yourself. And, you know, I think that they tasted pretty good, but just the texture, I don't think I would be able to get past. Like, I don't think I'd be able to drink a whole bottle of them. But the thing that I really like about this idea and about the company is that they do give back to the environment and to food sources so that if you buy these, you are helping to support their mission, which I think is always cool because there are companies that don't really give back at all and I really like that these guys do. So I'm going to put the link to their website in the description in case you want to check out some more of their products or different flavors. And I definitely think that you should give these a try because they are fun. I didn't necessarily love them, but it's always fun to try different things. So I think that's going to be it for today. As always, all of my social media links will be in the description, so if you want to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, then you can do that and see what I'm up to in real time. If you care, if you don't, then that's cool too. But I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in my next video.